G'day everyone, welcome to New Tech, my name is Miles and it's wonderful to have you here. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the TTC 450 by Two Trees, so stay tuned. I was really lucky a few months ago to review one of the other Two Trees machines, and that was one of their laser machines. And one thing that really stood out for me is that that machine came with everything. Um, it also worked flawlessly. It was very comparable to other machines on the market at that time but the best thing about it was it was really cheap for what it was they certainly don't compromise on quality but they also deliver something that's really affordable now they have done that here once again and i am absolutely amazing what they're able to do and provide for the cost that they're selling this machine at and i'm absolutely mind blown at this machine and what it can do so let's start off with the build so the build did take a few hours now that was probably longer than most machines Machines I've ever put together but obviously the compromise on costs and also being able to pack it into such a small package it, it did take a little bit of time to set up but it was a hundred percent worth it I've had an absolute ball with this machine now this machine putting it together it was really well labeled um, the electronics of this I was really impressed with so this is using an ESP32 based system for this machine and it's using one of these DLC32 boards now I'm really excited that they are using one of these boards because of that ESP32. If you've seen my previous content, I've also looked at a different system, which is Fluid NC, also works on these type of boards. So that gives me some ideas for the future. Now, this machine alone, they did send it to me with a 500 watt spindle. So I did mount it straight away. I didn't use the spindle that came with this. However, that that would have been a, an awesome addition to this machine as well. So I jumped in straight with a 500 watt spindle and this machine absolutely deserves this 500 watt spindle. I have put it to the test and put it through quite a lot of stress and this machine has powered through everything that I've thrown at it. So let's start off with um, just the basic plywood cutting. I did start off with just doing some engraving here using the 15 degree end mills that they did provide with this machine. So, you know, they didn't compromise on quality and they certainly threw in everything into this machine and provided a lot of extra features as well. So using that 15 degree end mill, I was able to do some really cool carvings Plus, I was also able to cut really easily. Now this is a nine mil piece of ply and it went right through this piece of ply with no problems at all and had a really clean finish. Now that was using the 3.175 or eighth inch end mill that they do provide with this machine too. Um, so out of the box, in the first couple of tests that I've done with this machine, I was absolutely blown away. So one of the things I've had troubles with other machines is that when you have dust everywhere that you have to vacuum it out of every nook and cranny on the machine, but they do provide a lot of these track guides and they are fantastic because it stops all the dust from falling into the parts of the machine, which you do really don't want it to fall into. So I was really pleased that they have provided those um, track covers. Now they also provide a lot of extra features such as the hold down clamps, um, extra brushes, your end mills, glasses, and um, a really sturdy frame. And this machine by far has been one of the best experiences that I've had out of a machine in this size. So after throwing some plywood at it, I did want to try something that I've always wanted to try. Now I've just got a brand new 3D printer and I'm going to be reviewing that on my next uh, video. And that is also by Two Trees. Now that 3D printer, I was able to 3D print these test um, pieces that I designed. Now it's like a bit of a water drip. I wanted to go from this 3D printed um, surface. Now, if you've ever seen a 3D printer, this, the top surface is always the roughest, especially if it has some contours in it. So if you wanna print something flat and you want the top surface nice and smooth, it's really, really difficult to do it. So this is the first part just straight off the printer. I installed it on this machine and using a one mil ball end mill, I went back over and I cleared off the top of this 3D print and I was absolutely floored by the results. Now, this did not skip a beat. It was absolute precision with using this ball end mill to go over the top of this drip. Now, this, uh, this drip surface or the water texture surface, it did come out a bit furry in some spots and that's because I did use that ball end mill. And when you get it on a certain angle, it just makes the plastic a little bit furry, but I'm sure if with 
the quick sand that, that would come off there. But you know, I'm absolutely floored by the surface texture and eliminating all those surface lines you get when you're using a 3D printer. So that was a really fun experiment to start off with. So I wanted to throw you something a little bit more creative. I had some beautiful uh, red cedar timber and I wanted to give it a go with some engraving and some carving as well. So I came up with the concept, it's coming up to Christmas time. I wanted to create these awesome decorations that are Christmas tree decorations. So I put it on this machine and it carved it with no problems at all. So once again, I used the 15 degree V bit plus the, the straight end mill to um, carve out the texture plus cut it out. Um, and these have come out beautifully and the, the detail and the texture alone are fantastic. And I couldn't ask for anything more from a machine that is this size and this price as well. So moving on from that, after I did the timber, I thought, well, let's just throw it in the deep end and put some aluminium on it. So I did go through and um, I milled some aluminium. Now, unfortunately, when I was filming that, I went to put the SD card into the computer and for some reason it corrupted the file. So I, unfortunately, I don't have the full footage of it cutting out this aluminium, but I went back through and just cut out the center circle of this aluminium little fidget toy here. And you can see that now it is carving through it just like butter. So I did go through very conservatively through it. So I used a specific end mill for cutting aluminium. You can see here this is a single flute and it cut this out beautifully. Now putting that on here, I did realize when I started to push it a bit quick, it did flex the machine a little bit and it um, wasn't as perfect. But when I slowed it down, it came out really well. So um, I was absolutely blown away by what this was able to do for the size of the machine. So what I really love about this machine is honestly the quality of the machine. It hits the price point of this style of machine. It can fit away into a corner. You can also control it with the offline controller there. So you can plug in the SD card, use that touch screen to control the, the machine and put it to wherever you want. And it comes with the machine. You don't need to have to upgrade to anything later on or attach anything else because it's all included in one pack. And I'm just blown away by the quality and the, the price point of this machine. So I'll pop the links for this machine down below if you wanna check this out for yourself, but I believe that this machine is available on various different websites. I also will be reviewing one of their 3D printers in my next video. So I'm really excited about giving that a go. It's certainly something that is a bit of a rival to the P1P Bamboo. So please like this video and don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming content. Um, I'm really excited because this has been a really lovely collaboration with Two Trees and I'm excited to see what other products they certainly come out with in the future. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.